على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر هنا رمضان مفتاح ودرب جاد بالخير يعانقنا فيمنحنا جمالا مشرقا يسري جمالا مشرقا يسري تراويح ومغفرة تجود عليك بالأجر وصوم فيه مرحمة به الحسنات كالقطر به الحسنات كالقطر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر أيا رمضان يا شغفي من الإمساك للفطر ويا من ضم لي روحي فتاهت فيه كالسحر فتاهت فيه كالسحر أيا رمضان يا شغفي من الإمساك للفطر ويا من ضم لي روحي فتاهت فيه كالسحر فتاهت فيه كالسحر سنحيا فيك يا غمرنا كتاب الله بالذكر سنحيا فيك يا غمرنا كتاب الله بالذكر كتاب الله كتاب الله Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our favorite Ramadan series edition, Ramadan Pills with Kedir Ibrahim. I hope you enjoy your pills. So, to the first question in this edition. What is Sahur? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Was salatu was salam ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'a bi ihsan la yawmin deen. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اما بعد so concerning the question <coughs> what is sahur sahur is an arabic word derived from the word from the root word sahara and which means the later part and the plural of the suhoor is ashar. Now, the Arabic term suhoor refers to the meal that is taken very in the early part of the morning, the pre-dawn meal. And the act of taking this meal is referred to as suhoor. But the meal is referred to as suhoor. So the meal that is taken early in the morning the pre-dawn meal before the rising of the sun during the month of ramadan is also referred to as suhoor the meal we eat in the morning for the beginning of the fast is referred to as, as suhoor and this meal is important although it's not compulsory but it was encouraged by the prophet 
And the Prophet sallallahu said in Sahih al-Bukhari that we should take sahur for there is barakah in it, there is blessing in it. So it's encouraged that we take this pre meal, sahur, before starting our fast. So this answers the question. Yazakuamullahu Kairan brother Kedir for that explanation. Now, to the next question. What is iftar? As far as iftar is concerned, iftar is derived from the Arabic word, from the root word fatar, which means to break. But Futur is, is uh, an Arabic word which refers to the meal taken while breaking the fast. The meal used in breaking the fast in the later part of the day. And iftar itself means the act of breaking the fast, the act of taking that meal for breaking the fast. So iftar in essence is that meal that is taken uh, at the end of the day to break the fast so i hope this answers the question yazakuamullahu kairan brother kedir for that explanation now to the next question what is the specific time for taking sahur according to the sunnah As far as the specific time, or the best time for taking the sahur, the pre meal, according to the sunnah, is concerned. It is supposed to be from the midnight to the breaking of the dawn. As Allah said in Surah Al-Baqarah, Quran number 2, verse 187, that wakulu washrabu hatta yatabayyana lakum khaytul abyadu min al khayt al aswadi min al fajr. That you should eat and drink until you are able to distinct between the white thread of the dawn and the black thread. So, with this verse, we come to know that the sahur could be from the midnight. As late to the pre to to the uh, breaking of the dawn, but then according to the Sunnah, the Prophet sallallahu encouraged us to delay the sahur. We should take the sahur at its last time, at the last part of the time for taking sahur. It is mentioned in Sahih al Bukhari, volume number three, book of fasting, hadith one nine one eight, and also hadith one nine one nine. That Aisha radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, When you hear the azan of Bilal bin Rabah radiallahu anhu, that you should not be deceived, you should keep on eating, until you hear the azan of Umm al-Makhtoum, for he does not call the azan till it is done. So with this we get to know that the suhoor could be taken from the midnight up to the dawn. And also, as I said earlier, that the Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to delay the suhoor. We should take it at the last part of its time. As it is mentioned in, in Sahih al Jamia, rule number one, hadith 2835, that the Prophet ﷺ said that we should hasten the breaking of the fast, which is the iftar, and we should delay the suhoor. So with this hadith, we come to know that first, the suhoor is from the midnight up to dawn. And then the Prophet wasalam, encouraged us to delay the taking of the suhoor. I hope this answers the question. Yazakuamullahu Kairan brother Kedir for that explanation. Now, to the next question. What is the correct and best time to break the fast? As far as the correct time to break the, fa the, the fast, it is mentioned, as I quoted earlier, 
in Surah Al-Baqarah, Quran number 2, verse 187, Allah said, hatta lakum abyadu min al aswadi min al fajr. Thumma suyama ila al He said, Eat and drink till you can distinct between the white thread of the dawn and the black thread of and the black thread. And you should fast until the ninth. So it means that the fast ends immediately you see the sunset at the ninth, the early part of the ninth. So this is the correct time to break the fast. But then there are several hadiths where the Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to hasten the breaking of the fast amongst which as i quoted earlier from sahih jamia that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you should delay the sahur and you should hasten the iftar that you should delay the pre-dawn meal and you should hasten the breaking of the it fast was reported in sahih al-bukhari volume number three book of fasting Chapter 45, where Abu Sa'id radiallahu anhu, he said that we broke the fast immediately the sun was set. And as I quoted earlier from the hadith of Sahih al Jami in the book of fasting, Hadith 2835, where the Prophet said that you should delay the pre dawn meal, the suhoor, and you should. You should very hasten the iftar. Also, under hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, volume number three, book of fasting, hadith one nine five seven. You similar hadith, same hadith were repeated in uh, Sahih Muslim, in hadith one zero nine eight, where the Prophet so uh, it was narrated by uh, Sahal bin Saad that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, لا يذان الناس he said, the Prophet ﷺ said that my people will remain on the right path as far as they hasten the breaking of their fast. So with these hadiths, you come to know that the fast lasts till the early part of the night once the sun has set. And it is preferably and it is sunnah encouraged that we hasten the breaking of the fast as the Prophet and the Sahaba has done and as they have encouraged us to do. Hope this answers the question. Yazakuamullahu Kairan Brother Kedir for that explanation. Now, to the next question. What did the Prophet, peace be upon him, prefer to eat for breaking the fast? Concerning what the Prophet used to break the fast, it is mentioned in Sunan Abi Dawood, Book of Fasting, Hadith 2349, that the Prophet وسلم, used fresh date, he used to have fresh date to break the fast. And if he cannot find fresh date, he used dry dates. And if he cannot find dry date, he used water. So the hadith here told us clearly that the Prophet ﷺ used either fresh date as first option. And this fresh date is known as rotub. If he cannot find this, then he used dry, dry date. If not, he used water. So similarly, the best for us to break the fast, so we would follow the Prophet or follow the Sunnah, is to use fresh date. If we cannot find fresh dates, then we use dry dates. If not, we use water. If we cannot find any of these, then we can do any fruit or any food we see around us to break the fast. And at worst, at most, if we cannot find anything, then you can break the fast with your intention. You break the fast. Maybe you're in a journey or somewhere you can't find something to eat. Then with your intention, you can break, break your fast. Hope this answers the question.
Yazaku Amolahu Kairan brother Kedir for that explanation. Now, to the next question. Are there any dua, or prayer, or supplications, which is specific for breaking the fast? As far as the dua for breaking the fast is concerned, there are several duas for breaking the fast, although most people tend to use duas that are not authentic. But before that, you should know that the Prophet ﷺ has said that the dua of a person who fasts is always accepted till the time he breaks his fast. It is mentioned in Ibn Majah, volume number 3, Hadith 1752, that the dua of three categories of people are accepted. The first is a just ruler. The second is a fasting person, a person who is fasting till he breaks his fast. And the third is the dua of the oppressed. The similar message is repeated in Ibn Majah, volume number 3. Hadith 1753 that the dua of a person who is fasting is always accepted till the time he breaks his fast. So these, first of all, is an opportunity for those who are fasting to make supplications to Allah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, Rabbana afriga aliya sabra, and all sorts of dua. You make duas for risk, good health, and whatever. Then, as far as the main question is concerned, the dua for breaking the fast. There are several du'as, but the most authentic is mentioned in Sunnah Abu Dawud in the book of fasting, Hadith 2350. Yet the Prophet used to, when the Prophet broke his fast, he would recite, Zahaba zamahu wa ptallat al wa thabbat al ajr, insha'Allah. So this is the most authentic du'a. Dhahabat dhamahu, thirst has gone. Obtallat al-uruku, and the, the veins, the arteries are moist. Othabbat al-ajr, and the reward is sure, insha'Allah, if Allah wills. Now, most people do say this dua before breaking the fat, before putting something in the mouth, which is very much contradictory to the meaning of the dua. The dua says, Zahabat dhamahu, that the thirst has gone. The thirst can only go after breaking the fast. So this dua is meant to be said after you've uh, put something in your mouth or taken fruit or taken food after breaking the fast. Then before taking anything, you do the usual dua, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So this dua is meant to be said after breaking the fast. And this is the most authentic opinion. I hope this answers the question. Yazaku Amalahu Kairan brother Kedir for that explanation. May Allah reward you abundantly. Amin. Now we know more about matter concerning Sahur and Iftar. That will be all for this session insha'Allah. Indeed it was worth a pill to take. May Allah reward you all and me for joining this interesting session. Amin. Send your questions regarding Ramadan to PPF WhatsApp contact. On plus 234-808-039-6711. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Oh, oh.